Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I will show you how to add a RSS feed in the web author and how it will display on your device. So first thing first, we're going to content. And you go directly to the web author. Now a new window will open and you can just make sure select your supported device and leave the default settings as they are. Click on create. And here you have your web author view. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a little template. So provide it with a background and provide it with a image. For example, this one. Make it a bit smaller. I like this, for example. So in here, I want to have my RSS feed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to widget and I'm gonna select this first icon, which stands for the RSS feed. Now here you can drag the window that you want your information to flow into. So I want to have it as wide as my display is and to make it a bit smaller. So this is set now, and in order to get a URL into this feed, you click on this little pencil at the top and you select your feed. So I've selected this one and I'm going to click on save. So as you can see at the bottom right now, it, it has the URL that I just set it into. So there are multiple things you can change in here as well. You can, for example, change the size of the title, the color, of the text and the position. If you want it to be centered, left aligned or right aligned. Now this is also possible with the dates. Again, the size, the color and the position. And last but not least, this is also possible with the description. Another thing is you can fill in the color. So this is like the background color, for example, and you can change the animation flow. Um, the default setting is from left to right, but if you want it from right to left, you select this one. So the information will come from the right hand side and will flow to the left hand side of the display. Here you can select the interval settings. So this is like once every hour right now. You can change it, for example, to five minutes, whatever you want. And again, if you're logged in as an admin, you can also lock this item which means that other people which are um, signed in as, for example, a content creator, they will not be able to remove your RSS feed. Now, how does this look? I'm going to save the file. Save it, provide it with a name, RSS. Once the saving has been completed successfully, you can close the web author again, and I'm going to schedule it. You know the procedure, select your device, and I'm gonna directly insert the content item in here instead of the playlist. Make it run. Select my device group again. I only have one device connected, so I will publish it to that device. So it's completed already. Now I'm gonna go to my device. As you can see, the image is already running as well. And at the bottom, you can see the little RSS icon. So I'm gonna click on the information and I'm gonna open remote control. So, and as you can see, this is the image and this is my RSS feed. Now the remote control will pick up the content every one or two seconds approximately. So it says one second here. So this why this information might stutter on your remote control, but it's perfectly working on the display itself. Because if you go to your display right now, the information flow will be fluent and not as stuttering as it is on this one. So here you can see the information flow is just in one sentence. Um, and the dates are also in there as well. 
Um, but in the web auto, you can adjust it. You can uh, remove the dates if you want to, and you can basically fully customize it to whatever you want. And this is how to add and edit an RSS feed and how it looks on your display. Thanks for watching. Thank you.